Ilya, congratulations on the win. Uh, this was a long time coming and getting to the UFC. Was this everything it, it lived up to? It was amazing. I um, I still feel on cloud nine. I feel like it's so surreal. I'm going to wake up any minute, um, even after the fight. So it might have been a long time coming, but there's still a long time for me to be here. Yeah. So I'm just going to ride the wave, man. It seemed like you had a lot of fun this week. And even in the cage, it looked like you and Danny were, were having a, a great time out there as you guys were you know, punching each other in the face. Uh, is, it, is, that, is that accurate? Did you feel that way? Oh, it was wonderful. Um, I called it from the beginning. I knew we were going to beat the hell out of each other, and there's so much respect there. That girl's got a hell of a jab, and um, and I know she respected me. Uh, she might have taunted me a little bit, but I think I, I I think we had a good exchange in there. It was a lot of fun. Were you surprised? Um, I think I dropped her a couple of times. I, I wanted to to play with my prey a little bit, um, so I wanted to show that I was a well-rounded fighter. So there were a couple of times that I did drop her, and I know I could have finished it, but I wanted to showcase my, my ground skill. Obviously, it's not that great because I didn't get the finish, but hey, <laughs> it's all good. Where was I? I was playing on the slots. And then <laughs> I here at New York, New York, and um, I was like, hey, that's an earthquake. And I stood up, and my husband threw a fit, and he's like, we're all going to die. And uh, I was like, everyone, no, we're okay, just stay away. I like instructed people on safety, and then I put on my Instagram like yeah. proper uh, um, earthquake etiquette. Can you so. explain how much, why, why you know so much about earthquakes? Oh, I know so much about earthquakes because I have my degree in geology, and I interned as a seismologist for the USGS, um, and I did a little bit of programming uh, with my internship. Or I'm sorry, it wasn't for the USGS, but I worked with um, in college, so. That was only a summer. I'm not an expert by any means, but uh, yeah, I'm a geologist. So. And you work for an oil company? Yes, I work for an oil company now, and um, that's my day job. That's what I continue to be. And on Monday, my coworkers are going to need maps, so that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> you go right back to work on Monday. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't take any time off. I'll I'll be running tomorrow morning um, before my flight, and then you know go home and live life like it's normal because <laughs> it is. Yes, ma'am. I'm always, uh, I've, I've told everyone, I'm a student before an athlete, and, um, sorry, and I intend to continue my career as long as I can responsibly handle it. Well, there's earthquakes uh, this week. Are they pertinent to what you're doing or, or your job? No, sir. Um, these earthquakes are just geologic events. There's nothing to do with uh, any oil business or anything. But you're, but you're kind of, you enjoy this kind of stuff. I do. I enjoy it so much. Yeah. I was looking um, on the maps and seeing what was happening, where the fault system was at. It wasn't on the San Andreas, so don't be expecting the big one or anything. So you guys are, are good. Are we safe now for the rest of the weekend here in Las Vegas? Will there be another one, you think? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, earthquakes are not predictable, so <laughs> we'll see. Is everybody at the school watching the fight tonight? Are they all watching you? Everyone that I know was watching tonight. Um, I know there was a couple watch parties. I know my company, a lot of people actually came. There was a huge showing here, so I'm very honored and blessed. And um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people here. My mommy's here. I, I can't wait to see her. I expect them to treat me just like any other day, but I know that they're going to walk with their heads a little high and be proud of me. So. I work for Chesapeake Energy. Uh, but yeah, it's a major oil, oil and gas company in Oklahoma City. Um, so everyone buy stock. In in the next six months, uh, prepping hopefully for another fight. Yeah, I didn't I didn't come out injured this time. You know, last year was a bad year for my hands. So uh, I'm ready. Whatever God throws at me. Yeah. Are you celebrating? I want a mimosa. I really, <laughs> I, I really want a mimosa. I got that brunch fight, you know, I first fight of the night, and so, um, just one mimosa, and I'll be fine. Five, five stitches. I don't know. Was it a punch or was? Did we just collide? Was it a left hook? I knew it. She's got a good left hook. I should have blocked it. That's all right. Oh no, no, the blood is fine. So you <laughs>
I'm sure he was. <laughs> uh, we're all savages. We, I come from a savage training camp, and, uh, you know, it's nothing new. I, I had my bone pop out, and I, I was like, give me the tape. I want to keep fighting. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't, I don't want to consider it a loss. Um, it's a fluke. Uh, I, I, there's no honor in that win. Um, so I, I would expect my, my opponent or whoever wins that way to not consider it. Um, so I don't know. I, but you know, it's on my record and kudos to her. Oh, <laughs> you got to stay away from the walls. Anything that's not secure, stay away from it. Stand, uh, cover your head. Um, do not run. Do not move. You just want to like cover yourself. Um, don't go outside because you don't know about the structural integrity of the walls or anything. If you're driving, stop because you don't know if there's any liquefaction, there'll be any sinkholes or anything. So, sinkholes? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty terrifying. So, um, you just want to be aware on what to do, especially in earthquake country here in California. So. Nope, gotta go to work. I have a dentist appointment on Monday, so. <laughs> yeah. Last one about the eye. When you the position of the eye, was there any sense of urgency when you felt the blood there that maybe you had to move up your, your game in because of where the position of the cup was? Maybe you didn't want to stop the fight or anything? Were any worries of where the cup was? If anyone would have tried to stop me, I would have punched them. <laughs> so, I, no, I, I wasn't worried. Blood doesn't bother me. I, um, I would have just rubbed it all over my face and like battle, you know, like come at me. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe I would have gotten like performance of the night if I'd done that. <laughs>